Hello there everybody, it's Subata92 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Yes, we're doing another bonus episode! Mostly because we still have a little bit of time before we can get started on the Promised Neverland. I want to give my artist plenty of time to make the thumbnail template. That way we can get started with Gusto. Now, in the last episode we, well... We made it to the Dark World, and I wanted to go over a couple of the uh, comments that you guys left from yesterday. Well, first things first, from Alexander Vasquez. Great work! You're progressing really fast. By the way, there are some things you might want to know. You'll always find light crystals wherever you go, meaning that exploration in the Dark World shouldn't be hindered by this. Okay, good. I was afraid, because I saw the HP drain from, you know, just being in this place. I was afraid, but thankfully, I am grateful that we have these here, at least, to kind of heal me up a little bit. I think you already know that safe zones heal you. Yeah, I kind of learned that. Uh, I kind of went back on the footage, and I thought I was... The fuck? Okay, I'll scan those later. I think you already know this, but however, you don't need to use them all the time to keep your HP full. There's a lot of energy in containers and enemies. I'd say this is the fast way to fill up your HP. It's certainly is faster than being healed slowly. You are correct on that. That is definitely more of the correct thing. You should scan some enemies quickly. Bosses. Okay, don't worry. I, I don't worry. I already know that. I I should try to be a little bit more careful. Like I should have like example with the bomb guardian. I was scanning that one. The dark world is an exact replica of the light world, but you find that some of the paths are blocked and that you won't always be able to go to all the dark versions of the rooms on Aether. There will be a lot of puzzles that require you to go back and forth between the worlds. Okay, that's interesting, so it's basically a back and forth kind of puzzle, which, you know what, that's got me pretty curious. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of uh, puzzle this game will, you know, throw at me. Access to each dark temple requires three keys that are scattered through the dark world. Okay, I figured that much. All dark energy modules are protected by a guardian. Yep, I figured that much as well, also. Meaning that you have to defeat them to gain access. Yep. It's the standard formula. Gotta kill the boss, get the item, and then we're all good. Also, you guys mentally uh, kind of weirded out by all this now? I'm trying to do more episodes like this, at least until the Promised Neverland thumbnail is ready. That way, I can try to get, like, you know, better practice. Because right now, I'm starting to do... I think I'm doing a little bit better with my aiming, kind of. Anyway, that was one of the comments. All right. I guess I should probably go ahead and uh, scan whatever that is. Recording to the logbook. A new creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology? Night Barb, flying airborne hunters native to Dark Aether. The targets are small, but travel in large numbers for safety. Avoid contact. Well, I'm literally right next to them. Look at that thing. Night Barbs are small airborne darklings, smaller and weaker than a hunter ink. A Night Barb will travel with a large pack to increase its odds of survival. This is why, since their primary predators are hunter ink. Oh, um, one more thing. This was kind of brought up by Time Axis. One thing that I should, I actually kind of noticed from the footage, apparently, what, right before the pirates got possessed, they were actually blasting at the Dark Ink. Like, that was actually a pretty interesting attention to detail there, showing that they definitely don't want to get possessed, but their fighting was futile. All right, let's see. Map-wise, I should head toward that particular area. So... That's where we're going. All right, into the, uh, into the danger, danger. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm just making my way backward. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Ew. Hello there. Morphology. Warrior Ing, the soldiers of the Ing Horde. Shape-shifting wall crawler. Dangerous combatant in melee at range. Dislikes bright light. Warrior Ing are challenging foes. They can render themselves into amorphous puddles and move over most terrain, including walls. Warrior Ink can turn their bodies into deadly projectiles sheathed in dark energy. The tips of their legs are razor sharp, making them formidable in melee. Finally, the Warrior Ink are capable of channeling trans-dimensional energy and firing it at their enemies. Their only real weakness is bright, pure light, which they hate and fear. Yeah. 
Hello there, ugly. Missile! Haha! How you like them apples? What's up, bitch? Bye, bitch. <laughs> Ooh! Why, hello there. That thing's moving. Ooh. So there are sentient balls of light that are just moving around. Wait a minute. Maybe they're related to that bug that was from the actual the light aether, the ones that uh channeled light? Maybe that's related somehow. Okay, I don't want to shoot it, I want to scan it. Lightbringer, light generating forager. Creature generates safe zone while living. Immune to most forms of attack. Ooh, pretty. Lightbringers were created by the Luminoth for use in their war with the Ing. The crystalline crystal creatures generate a field of life giving energy at all times, and they can be energized like a safe zone crystal. They are immune to most weapon fire. Only a burst of matter, antimatter, can destroy them. Matter, antimatter? Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's like the door front that I saw earlier. So I need to find maybe some dark energy to be able to shoot the, or get through that door. Hmm. All right. I guess for my own safety, I should probably wait till that thing gets a little bit closer. Can I jump on this and stay on the edge without getting hurt? hurt? Yes, looks like I can. Okay. Hey there, little guy. Aw, oh, ain't you adorable. Hey, come back here. I require your life bringing energy. Ow. Did you bonk me? Well, ain't you just a cute little booger? I highly appreciate your assistance on this. Goodbye. Have a good day. Ah! Jesus, the little booger almost knocked me out. This rift portal is inactive. The portal field can be energized with light energy. Walk into an energized portal to transport to Aether. Oh, so there's portals that are just kind of laying around, but I have to find some way to activate them. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's a portal over there. Yep. <laughs> Give me your life essence. Thank you. <laughs> oh, another one of these buggies. Hey there, little guy. Don't don't stab me. He's okay? Oh. Pfft. Stop pushing me. Okay, we're gonna play follow the leader, little guy. Okay? We're just gonna have ourselves a nice little good good just have ourselves a nice little walk. You're a cute little booger, aren't ya? Now you all do is behave. You gonna turn around? Thank you very much for walking me. Have yourself a good day, little buggy. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to be sustained by anything, unless... Is there something up there? Hmm. Hmm. It's being sustained by something, but I'm not entirely sure what. Boing. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. I cannot get up there. Ah, ha, ha. Fuck. How dare you tease me with that? I'm slowly dying. Okay. Woo. Ah. No. Stay out of that. I don't want to die. Alrighty. Let us continue onward. Whoa. That's a big one. Did 
Jesus Christ, that is a big one. Hi there. Jump Guardian. Ow! Oh, it's a boss. Morphology. Jump Guardian. Space Jump powered by Warrior Ingly. Hey, you stole my Space Jump. Powerful Metamorph with enhanced jump abilities. Able to generate energy shocks, waves, and force fields. This warrioring has absorbed the power of the space jump boots. It can leap incredible distances and heights, and uses this ability to great effect in battle. Target can generate powerful shock waves of dark energy and will sheath itself in a potent force field to protect itself. It cannot maintain the shield indefinitely. Concentrate weapon fire on it when the shield is down. Alright, I can do that. Give me my jump ability, damn it. <laughs> Stop kicking me out of my barrier. <laughs> that thing just got redirected. I love that. Can't hit me! Ow! Fuck Jesus! Woo! Ha! Uh. Oh Jesus Christ! Guardian defeated. Yay! Give me my space jump boots! But first, absorb all of the power around me. Yes. Wait, can I scan this? Oh, of course I can. Space jump boots! Yay! Now I can jump again! Ooh, gold things back there. Space jump boots acquired. Press B to jump. Also in the air, press B to jump again. Of course. Now. Give me that. Ah, there we go. Hmm. The question remains, though. Now that I'm down here, do I want to go back? I think the answer should be painfully obvious. There's another black door. There's a green door, and then there's a red door. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is infinitely more different than last time. Last time, if I showed the color-coded doors, it would tell me what the power-ups and requirements were. Now, it's actually not telling me anything until I get said power-ups. Cool. Okay, I like that. That's pretty good. That way, I'm not spoiled by any of the abilities I might get. Okay. Let's head through this door, see where it takes us. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but I'll take it. Something that I probably should have scanned, but to be fair, I was in a world that's slightly killing me! Get in there! Get in there! Whew! Okay. Oh, goody, another one. Hey! 
Now we're back here. Now I'm back here at the temple. Something tells me that I was not supposed to come back here. Huh. Yeah, I need to get over... Yeah, but I can't get over there, though. That's blocked off. Huh. Well, I guess we're going back to Aether, then. Hmm. Maybe now I can go through that door that I unlocked with the, uh... Now that I... Oh, yeah. System analysis is complete. Console used to energize open a portal to Aether, currently online. Portal generation system initiated. All right. Return me to the world of light, and not the one that's from the Smash Ultimate. Actually, Smash Ultimate sounds pretty darn good right now. All right. That was a little fun. Now, let's go to that door that I opened back in the Aether world. Let's go check that. Now that I can effectively go, I might be able to explore a little bit back in that area. Aha! All right. Nice. Not nice. Hi there. Goodbye. Hey. Can you guys tell that I'm a terrible hunter? Or huntress? Okay. Let's go ahead and head through that door now. Boing. Ah, damn it, I almost hit the door. That was a close one. Alright, let's see what this world looks like in the normal world. Yes. Give me that missile upgrade. Yay! Thank you. All right. Now that I got the space jump, I've got much more areas available to me. back in this save room which is less evil less dark and it's much better that I go ahead and frequently save like I used to that way if I die I do not have to go all the way back through that again okay so I imagine that there has to be another dark world portal around somewhere and if I can get through there then I'll be able to see more of the world. Well, specifically the Dark World, Dark Aether. Okay. Now. There's a teleporter down there. There's a door up there, though. Hmm. I could try to go through there now. See what's beyond that door. But first things first, I kind of want to see what's... See if I can... Oh, that's right, I can open that door now. Oh, I can read the lore, too! No, before I do that, I want to read the lore. Lore takes precedence over gameplay. Somehow this turned into Dark Souls for a second. Somehow I fail miserably on simple jumps. Goodbye, worm. Okay. Now. Give me the lore. 
Illuminat lore translated, saving Aether. Aether's planetary energy supply reached a critical stage. If left unchecked, the energy would expire, bringing an end to the world. Our greatest minds devised a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy. The energy controllers. Hmm. Oh, cool, and it disappears too. Oh! Oh, that was neat! I didn't notice that the first time that happened, that I went through one of those lore things. That's actually pretty cool how they just kind of close out like, oh right, you've been read, uh, we, we don't need, we don't need this anymore. Now open sesame. Through vigilance and strength we create peace. So now I can go through there. Now, ball time. Because ball is life. Oh. Right. Yep. Oh, there we go. Hello! Hello there. Map data! I'll take it. You have downloaded the map for this area. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna look through that again. Now I can see the areas that I have not been to. Can't get there because I don't have a purple thingy. I should probably make my way over here to the mining station. See where this particular area leads me. And maybe... Hmm. Whoa. That's pretty big. Wait, I got an idea. Do I... Nope. It looks like I do not have a map for the Dark World. Well, then again, even if I went back to the Dark World, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere without the necessary power-ups to even get through these doors. So, it looks like for right now, I'm going to have to travel through the Light World. Thank you for opening door. Alright. Now, I should probably go ahead and make my way to the mining station. Because I can't open up that do Wait. Maybe I can. I never did attempt to maybe, you know, do a morph ball bounce. Maybe that'll let me get through it. No, I do not think so, but you know what? It does. It is worth a try. There's probably gotta be some way that I gotta be able to go through that. All right, now, oh, whoops. Okay, so I need to make my way that way. Easy peasy. So I'll just make my way over to this door over here. Uh, where is this? Oh, hi there. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I'd rather not deal with you right now. I got some exploring to do. Now the only question is how do I get through? Oh, right. There we go. I know what I'm doing. I just have to go all the way back to where I originally was. Now that I got the map. Just run fast, fast. Just gotta go fast. I gotta roll as fast as I possibly can to get to where I need to be. Yoink. So going back there, I was able to get the map data. That's probably something that I should have done earlier, but... Oh well. Wait, am I going the right way? At least I think I am. There was a door over there that I should have taken. That would have been a lot quicker. Hey guys, you are free to make fun of me for making this simple mistake. I am pretty much a complete and total dumbass for, you know, not doing something that should have been obvious. Also, Jesus Christ, that jump. All right, so the correct door that I need to go through is that way. So I need to get back up there. I need to get back up there, which I can do through this. Thankfully, well, thanks to this jump, 
I can now effectively do this properly. Feels weird treading back and forth between areas that I've already been, but because I saw it in the dark world, it is pretty neat being able to see them all differently. Oh shit, I can get this now! Whee! Energy tank! Yes! More HP for me! Can I? Nope. I tried. Well, kinda glad that I was able to do that at least. And I got more health out of it. Alright. Hmm. So I need to get it to that door over there. Which, I bet I have to stand on whatever that thing is over there just to get, I guess, up there? I don't know. Now that I've got the space jump, I technically have a little bit, I have some more areas that I can thoroughly explore. Ah, Jesus Christ. Who shot me? Something flying around over there. Hmm. Oh! Wait. Oh, the door's over there. Doy. So, let's see what happens when I get on top of this thing. Ah, I see. So, that's how I get up here. Okay. Which just leads me to even more lore. Luminoth lore translated, the stellar object. Okay. By the time we detect by the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great strain on the energy controllers and weakened Aether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shielding in our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. Oh. That's kind of disturbed. That's kind of sad. Automated function initiated. Sand gates will move to the open position. Oh! <gasps> There's a door! Wait, what's this? Mechanical analysis complete. The device is a component of a large mining system used to extract minerals from raw ore. Luminoth core projector is offline. Power cannot be restored to the unit. Uh, I get it. It's one of those you can only read the lore one time and then it just, pfft, it's gone. I see how it is. These Luminoths sure know how to design their stuff. All right. Hmm. I hear them. Sup, bitch. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh shit, did I mean to explode those? Fuck. Ah, damn it, I should have scanned them. Damn it. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll reload the area so I can scan that. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, close. Damn it. Okay. I lost my opportunity to scan them that time. Fuck. What the fuck is this? This looks like a ship hall. Oh, it's a barricade? Wall fashioned from wreckage of the space pirate vessel shot down by the GFS tier. And this is a windmill or something? A uh, crude but efficient device designed to harness wind power. Components are of space pirate design. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh! Hi! Ah! Yeah! Damn it. Huh. 
Hi. Hello there. Hey. 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 You. Up there. Eat a dick. That's what I thought. Now give me your supplies. Where are the rest of you swine? Come out and fight me! Come out and fight me, you cowards! Oh. Well, you know, I was hoping that you would be at least one at a time, but you know what? I am a badass woman. I can handle you bastards. I've killed many in my, of you in my time. How's it feel being blasted up front in your face? Oh, God. What the fu- Ah! Uh... Ah! Uh, what the fuck? Me mechanism Vigilance Class Turret Man Defense System. Heavy weapon uses fires powerful energy blasts, use rapid movement and cover to avoid dent. Take out fucking turrets now! The Vigilance Class Turret is found in many space pirate bases. Built to support the Humility Class Turret. It is as accurate as the gunner operating it. Many young space pirates begin their careers of centuries. A tour as a vigilance gunner is considered a mark of distinction. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. 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 Grrr, bam! Yeah. Booyah, bitch! Yeah. Woo! Missed me! I win! Huh. Really? You cowards can't fight me, so you have to bring out a turret. You know what? I actually couldn't... I may as well just consider myself, you know, that good. I will consider that a compliment. Poor little weaklings. Now then. I do believe it is time for me to go ahead and consider more murder on my list. Now, what the hell's up with that? Let me guess. Spider ball? Magnetic rail system track detected. Rail system powered and active. Spider ball technology required. Ah. Uh, I had a feeling that was going to be the... What the fuck is that? Space pirate defense shield. Shield was taken from the wreckage of a space pirate starship. It is impervious to your weaponry. Son of a gun. How dare they? At least they left me a lot of supply boxes. Even though they give me nothing! Wait. This isn't dark stuff. Is this... What is this? Phazon? Grading section is composed of Taloric Alloy. Structure is integrity critical. Hmm. Oh. Hello there. Blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons. Light energy may damage. Okay, so I'm going to get some point to where I can use dark and light. Ooh. Kind of makes me wonder... Uh, hmm. The dark... There's dark enemies. So, obviously it makes sense that they'd be weak to light. Aw, hi there, little buggies. How are you doing? It's okay. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Let's go in the weird little hole that's covered in red and kind of looks like something that I'm pretty sure that YouTube would demonetize me if I said out loud. Oh, God, I'm starting to think that's what it is. Ugh, who's... Okay, whose intestines am I inside right now? of right now? Oh. Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, they're entering the dark world. You guys are gonna probably die. Owie. Ow. Ow, fuck me. You guys see nothing. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess.
guess they do see me. Yep. Hello there. Goodbye. Hmm. Lore time? Lore time! Space pirate encrypted data. Decoded phase on raids. All right, it's time to bust out the pirate voice. Log 6221.7. Phazon extraction raids are underway on Dark Aether. The toxicity of the atmosphere has taken a toll on our workforce, as have the hostile natives of that world. Science team is preparing survival gear to protect our work teams, and we've increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. Hmm. Metroid Officer Report 07203.01 The order to mass breed Metroids is insane! We have no space to store them. Perhaps when Command is sharing a bunk with hungry Metroid infants, they will rethink this unwise order. Oh my god, we got a lot of stuff to read here. That is a lot. Medical Report 7199.09. Technician 12 relieved after showing symptoms of Phazon fever, and where he claimed the Phazon as his own and held us at gunpoint until security arrived. Oh, that's not good. Somebody got addicted to the Phazon druggie. Sentry Report 0720204. I grow weary of standing watch on a wasteland. The accursed marines are weak and vulnerable. Why do we not attack? They owe us a fake debt for the attack on our supply ship. Instead of settling accounts, we sit around in a sand pit like a group of timid old spinsters. It is time for action! This guy is really one to fight. What the hell is this thing? A new researched entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Planet Dark Aether. Transdimensional duplicative planet Aether. Can determine origin of Aether's dark twin. Contains high levels of Phazon ore. Native bioforms attack on sight. Okay, so are they're, they're basically just here not only to con kind of conquer the planet, but they're specifically looking for more Phazon. Can't determine origin of Aether's dark twin. Contains high levels of Phazon or native bioforms attack on sight. Okay. Hmm. There's another one around there, isn't there? Dark Aether Transit 424 complete. Radiation levels within tolerances. Dark cannon operating at full power, no signs of instability detected. Cooldown cycle underway. There's another one around here. Where is he? Okay. Guess he's no I guess there isn't any. Alright. Bring it on. Okay, phase on operations. Okay. Log 04468.1. Science team detected the presence of phase on in the Dasha system four cycles ago. High command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Aether and evaluate local Phazon resources. Because this world lies on the periphery of Galactic Federation territory, we are following stealth protocols at the highest level. A cadre of elite commandos has been dispatched to provide security for our force as well. This operation is now underway. Hmm. Data, great discoveries. Log 05008.6. A spatial anomaly has been found within our base. We believe this rift in space-time leads to a parallel unit dimension of some type, but have been unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. It may be a weapon or generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to accessing this anomaly. 
High Command is eager for reports on the relic. A new weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's natural for you to want more weapons, obviously. All right, local conflict. Log 04885.3. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Aether are an error. This planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of a Class 4 conflict is present here, though hostilities are at a minimal level now. Our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature. These raids have caused considerable damage and we have requested more combat troops in response. Hmm. Even these guys were having their trouble with the Darklings. Or the Dark- or the Ings. Uh, Rift Portal! Log 05442.1 The Rift Portal has been opened. The artifact weapon, dubbed the Dark Beam by Science Team, provides the energy needed to open the portal. Although for a limited time. We've sent expeditions through the portal, and they've returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of Aether. This Dark Aether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the home world of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of Phazon in this sector. Extraction plans are being prepared. We will not be denied! Right. Uh, here's the problem, though. You got a bounty hunter on your hands, my boys. Unable to bypass the base pirate security. Portal control access denied. Find an alternative method of accessing the portal control. Okay, I'll do that. After I read more. Casualty report 0720304. Mining expedition. 422 reports. Three dead, two injured, one missing in action. Captured bioform transfer to science team for study 0720301. Okay. Metroid Energy Report 0720209 Until we recover more Phazon, we rely on Metroids for power. Commanders authorized mass breeding of Metroids for this purpose. We made sure to give them large amounts of Space Viagra. It's basically like Viagra, but it only works on beings ena enabled with space travel. Unfortunately, the rest of the Space Pirates keep getting a hold of it. Poor bastards, can't stop them. Security Report 0720104 The marine vessel has been under attack by indigenous predators for several days. Casualties are high. The marine force is near elimination. Hmm. Security Report 0720206 Commando Unit 87 has failed to report. Unit was dispatched to recon the swamp, a potential site for a new base. Unit 98 sent to investigate. Planet Aether! Obscure world in the Dasha system. Planet is unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Aether uninhabitable. Ah, global warming. Planet is unable, unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Aether uninhabitable. Hmm. Okay. I think I've scanned all of the computers. I just gotta find some way to get up there. Probably that platform, if I had to guess. Power relays connected. Elevator unit online. Yeah! Shoopity bop ba da, shoopity day. I heard something smash. I'm not sure what it was. Okay. Hello! Goodbye. Hey! Goody. Fuck. I still can't get through that door, though. Security alert! All units to battle stations! The Dark Hunter has breached the Metroid production facility. Protect Phazon supply at all costs. 
Death to the Dark Hunter! Glory to the Space Pirates! Oh! Oh! The Dark Hunter, huh? Security alert all systems and units. Datanet has been compromised. The Hunter has hacked our Datanet. All of our secrets are now hers. She cannot be allowed to escape. Terminator on sight! So now they've got to worry about not only the Dark Hunter, but as, but as well as me. Good. I might be able to use this Dark Hunter to my advantage, possibly. Although, to be quite honest, it's much better if I actually take care of it myself. Eventually, that thing. Hi. First off, Rude. Jerk. Can I get in there? How dare you deny me this! Damn it! Okay, I gotta get back up there. I wonder if I can scan that stuff, though. Ooh, there's probably more inf information that I can grab from those computers over there. You never know. Well, I mean, I guess technically you guys know because you played this, so... All right. Yes. Planetary Stability Report 0720301. Planetary energy is at critical, creating violent climate changes and tectonic shifts. Unless these conditions can be reversed, global destruction is inevitable. That's not good. Dark Hunter Analysis. Ooh, 0720207. Scans of the Dark Hunter have revealed she grows stronger as she consumes Phazon. Already at Class Platinum AAA threat level. We shudder to think of her power level if she consumes our entire Phazon supply. It might exceed over 9,000. Phazon Collection Report 0720202. Phazon supply at Site 1 is diminishing. Sites 2 and 3 are supply rated above 90%. Site 4 remains a problem due to a high presence of hostile bioforms. You know, that might not be... Actually, you know what, that's... You know what? I don't even know why I went full Tagami there, but... Although, to be quite fair, I, I, I'm not even surprised at this point. Hi, Dark... S me? Dark Samus? What is this? Unique energy required for door access. Energized door with dark energy dome. God. Uh. Can't do that. At least, I don't know how to yet. Hmm. Can't activate that yet either. Okay, there's got to be some way for me to be able to get in there. Wait, can I even get in there, though? There's, like, a red door there. Oh, it's a missile door. Hmm. Okay, I got to find... Okay, I'm going to go back in there just in case. There might be some way for me to kind of get through that. Hmm. Oh. Duh, there's a way over here. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I am the stupid. Hmm. Oh, hello. Blast door control security bypass. Door will remain in the open position. Security and control systems have been jammed at the source. Hey, I can go through that door. Damn. Kind of mad that Dark Samus got away from me. Oh, well. Actually, I wonder if I would have been able to scan if I was quick enough. Something to think about. Kind of wish I knew, though. Alright. Let me in. Oh, fuck! Really? Ugh, these guys are back. Hey, it's been a while! Humidity class turret. Space powered defense system. Beam weapon variant of captured Federation turret. Evade its fire with quick movement. 
The space pirates copied captured Federation Growler turrets, but found the cannon unit inadequate. They replaced the Growler's weapon with a powerful Galvanics, Galvanic Accelerator Cannon. The Humility turret packs a strong punch, but retains the Growler system's weaknesses. Fast targets can evade the crew targeting system, and the armor can't take much punishment. Alright. I can take care of this. Whoa! Whoa! Aha! You missed me, bitch! I win! Oh, mother mercy, why? one of them. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, I can't skip. Metroids! Metroid subject has severe has several blast wounds from at space pirate weaponry on low power settings. They wanted it alive after they were finished with it. Oh shit. Uh I'm sorry, little guys. I um um Admittedly I still have a soft spot for you guys even though you've tried to kill me multiple times. I just uh kinda wish I could let you out, but sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Elevation system's online, so I need, okay. Alright. Okay. Another dark door that I can't get through. What the fuck is that? Oh. Hello. I am not the good enough. I'm not as good of a hunter as I used to be. Hey. Well, at least they didn't get possessed. I just had a horrifying thought. The Metroids being possessed by the dark stuff. <laughs> I don't want to even think about that. Hmm. What the hell is that creature that's in there? Bioscan complete. Evidence of a symbiotic pres uh, bonding present in subject system. Subject is barely alive and is periodically leached off its bioenergy by Metroids. Oh, that's a sp that's a pirate! Oh, or that was. Morphology: Talon Metroid energy craving parasite, taken from planet Talon Four. Target leeches bioenergy from its victims. Stunned by concussive blasts, vulnerable to dark energy. Interesting. Space pirates harvest and enslave Metroids for use. Oh god, that's a red one. In their operations. The Talon Metroid will latch onto prey with powerful pincers, and then proceed to drain its life energy. This causes the creature to grow in size and mass. The creatures are vulnerable to the chilling effect of dark energy and can be detached by entering morph ball mode and deploying a bomb. Oh boy. The return of these boogers. Damn. Well, hope you guys have fun with your lunch in there. Make sure you actually feed on it properly and do not waste your food, okay? You be good, little Metroids, and Mommy will be back, okay? You just be careful. You be good. Oh, they are desperately trying to get out of there. Metroid handling protocols 0720202. -02. Metroids are not pets. Metroids are not for target practice. Finally, unauthorized feeding of Metroids is still strictly prohibited. Wait, is still? Does that mean that there has been some pirates that have just been casually just... 
Wait a minute. No, I need to I need to go over that again. Are not pets and are not for target practice. Okay, for obvious reasons, I can imagine the space pirates using them as target practice. I can imagine that. But the fact that they have to specifically say that they're not pets. Was there like one space pirate probably named Jim or something like that who just tried to tried to raise the Metroids as little pets and then all the other space pirates? Oh my god, Jim, what the hell are you doing? They're not pets! It's going to end! It's already killed J Jerry. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't- I just find that amusing that they have to specify that they are not pets. <laughs> I, I find amusement out of that. Alright. Space Pirate Encrypted Data Decoded. The Hunter. Log 0632.2. Samus Aran, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek our destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals Phazon ore, only killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs it for, we do not know. Though science team suspects she requires it to power her new armor suit, Dark in color. It is equipped with strange new weapons. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter is a fitting title. Oh, they actually think that the Dark Hunter is Samus. Well, to be fair, we do have similar looking suits, so it kind of makes sense. Jesus Christ, don't... Fuck you! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ugh, okay. Hello there. And yoink. Oh, I was expecting you to act like an elevator, but no, just okay. I'll you'll hear no complaints from me. Okay, you might hear some some complaints. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Hello! Pirate Aero Trooper, Airborne Assault Trooper. Fast moving and extremely well armed! Jetpacks can be overloaded with thermal damage. Ooh, Ooh he does not look like he's having a good time right now. Pirate Aero Troopers are known for their cold precision and utter cruelty. Armed with both beam and missile systems, the Aero Trooper can be a difficult foe to engage, especially at range. Their jetpacks can be overloaded with heat-based attacks, however, these units prefer death before dishonor. An injured arrow trooper will make a suicide strike before allowing themselves to be captured. Okay. That explains quite a lot here. Hello there. Well, that one didn't get a chance to suicide bomb me. Hey. Right. Jesus! <laughs> that, actually, <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. Woo! Okay. Got a green door and a blue and okay. Can't go through that green door, obviously, for obvious reasons. Oh my god, there are so many computers over there! Oh boy. Production report, Metroid 07... I'm gonna go ahead and save it for this, the pirate stuff. 0720101. Mass breeding of Metroid's underway. We will meet commands quota within a cycle. Storage remains an issue. Recommended expansion of existing facility before critical Metroid level is reached. Mm, maximum critical Metroid. Maintenance report. Energy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep trying. Energy containment field generators have failed three times. I fear for our safety. We're out of space parts. One more failure, and we're finished. Ugh. Space pirate security system bypassed. Power harnessing system online. Processing racks moving to position one. Extreme caution recommended. Uh. Oh. Hey. Nice. Now, the real question is, how do I... Hmm. Um... I... 
I, uh... I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Ooh. Discipline report 0719A.02. Units 13 and 43 have been placed on low rations after being caught configuring the power storage racks for amusement pep. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm, okay, this is actually adding a little bit of personality to these pirates. Agility training is to occur only in sanctioned training areas. Oh my god. Training report 0720008. Science team believes the Metroids can be trained. After several cycles of trying, I believe science team has vapor for brains. I've lost two assistants to the wretched little things. Oh my god. Did Jim actually try to con- I bet- I bet you it was Space Pirate Jim that was trying to convince them like, Okay, you guys need to understand something. I'm serious. They're cute little boogers. They can be pets. This is the Alpha Power Storage Rack Position Monitor. Two nearby consoles- control the movement of the alpha power storage rack. Scan them to operate the system. Okay. Uh, these things? Command authorized. Alpha power storage racks configured to desired position. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Huh. The Dark Hunter was spotted near the Metroid tanks. She attempted to breach the containment racks without success and escaped. Perhaps she is behind the recent Metroid theft. Probably. Theft report! Three Metroids have been stolen. All on-duty units have been questioned. Whereabouts of Metroids unknown. Doubling security in Metroid areas until further notice. Okay. Injury report 0720007. Unit 686 released a Metroid for target practice today. Oh my god. Please tell me that means that there is at least one. I bet, I bet you it was that report earlier where they were trying to treat him as pets. That was what the accident report was about. <laughs> that, that's where those rules and regulations are there. Because there's freaking Dr. Jim trying to treat, treat these uh, Metroids as little pets. And then we got these dumbasses that are trying to use them for freaking target practice. Unit 686 released a Metroid photographer practice today. The Metroid then assaulted 686. He should be regaining brain functions in a cycle. <laughs> Termination report 0719502. Metroid Unit 318 was put down today after a failed domestication session. Metroid Unit refused to commands and terminated one of its handlers before it was subdued. Oh no, Jim's dead! Fuck! This is the Gamma Power Storage Rack Monitor. Two nearby consoles control the movement of the Gamma Power. Okay. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? Let's scan this one first. Command authorized. Gamma Power Storage Rack configured to... Okay. Do I scan it again? Ah, I know what to do here. Okay, that is the desired position. All right. I guess I might as well scan this too. This is the Delta Power Storage Rack Position mo Monitor. Two nearby consoles, okay, okay. Okay, I just need to lower it to the point where I can space jump. Okay, I can't go any further down. <gasps> oh, wait! Wait. I think I know what to do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I got it. Yes! I was right in my thinking. Okay, that was a fun little puzzle. I like that. Nice. That was actually pretty cool. Can 
I scan you little guys? No. Alright. In wait. Okay. Hey! Come on, follow. Uh <laughs> God, why am I in here? Oh god. Ow! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, what? Eh, there we go. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Bounce! Okay, I like being able to just kind of flick my wrist and being able to jump like that. It's actually kind of a lot of fun doing it that way. Alright, there we go. Through the intestines I go. Let me in! Ah, oh, goody. Safe spot. Hmm. Lumen... Weapon is in space pirate hands. Recover Luminoth weapon. Okay. I was kind of going to go explore that area anyway, but thank you. All right. And guys, that is where I'm going to end it. Looks like we might be able to get ourselves a new weapon next episode, probably, hopefully, maybe, slightly. But anyway... All right, we infiltrate the space pirate hold and learn that they've not, once again, got the Metroids, and I've got this overwhelming suspicion that at some point some of those Metroids got, might get infected by that dark stuff. Or who knows, maybe they're immune to it. Although, I'm going to imagine that they aren't. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end it. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you, Hunters, in the next video. Hello there everybody, Sabatonite2 here, and if you like this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you guys like my content, then maybe you'd like to check out another channel who I think deserves equal attention. So click that nightmare emblem and check out that channel, or go to the links in the description down below. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.